All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today is Primal Ground on Raid Day. So this video will be going out a bit earlier just to go over the counters and things like that. But let's do a quick overview of the event at first. So the event bonuses during this event, Primal Groudon will appear in every single raid for three hours. And um, they will be set every hour, just like the Kyogre raids. You'll receive five free raid passes for the day, and that is between the hours of two and five. If you don't get them, then they will unfortunately not be able to be gotten. Um, you'll have an increased chance of encountering a shiny Groudon. I believe it's one in ten. And then remote raid passes have been increased to 20 during Friday, Saturday, up till 8 p.m. today. If you have paid $5 for the event ticket, you will get the following bonuses. Eight additional raid passes from gyms. You'll get an increased chance of getting XL candy, 50% more XP, and then two times Stardust as well. Um, these eight raid passes will be able to be gotten after five o'clock. So if you did get your shiny or your shundo or your hundo, you can save them and do other raids after five o'clock. You have a five hour window afterwards to go and use them raid passes. Now, Primal Groudon is a ground and fire type Pokemon. Now, unfortunately, Pacific Blades is not in, um, not available when you try to catch one. So you are looking at um, a different move set. So if we remove the Pacific Blades, you're looking at Mudshot and Earthquake as the best one you can get at the moment, unless you elite TM the Pacific Blades. But for me, I would wait because you do have Shadow Groudon coming out soon and you could use it on there. Now, if you are going into this fight, definitely use Water Pokemon as it does have a double weakness. And if we do go to the counters, if you were paying attention to last week's raid day, this is perfect for you because Primal Kyogre is the best counter for this fight. Moving on to Shadow Kyogre, which has been out recently as well, and then Shadow Gyarados and Kyogre. So these are the best Pokemon to take into this raid day and hopefully you guys did get some Kyogres last week because you should be able to take it down really easily after that. If you didn't get any, unfortunately, you could always go in with a normal Gyarados um, for Alligator. Uh, Mega Rayquaza is also quite high up as well. Um, basically anything that you can do damage with, you should be okay because you should have about five people in the raid to easily take it down with the max um, energy. If you don't have five people, I believe it can be trioed, but you do have to have the best counters available. Other than that, I'm going to leave this video here. Um, definitely take a screenshot of this page here so you can see what the best counters are and movesets for them Pokemon. Um, let me know what you do get down below in the comments and also subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll speak to you all in the next one.